This is John from PB Nation. I am out here with Tipman's new TMC. It is their mag-fed and hopper-fed marker. We're going to shoot it both ways today and go over a couple of the basic features and see how it does. Uh, let's start off at the beginning. Uh, switch it from safe to fire. Go ahead and pull the charging handle to cock the marker. And let's go ahead and shoot it. all sorts of fun. So right away I noticed a lot of things. One, the selector switch. That's fantastic. Very cool. I love the textured grip. That's just a good grip and it's not real big so anybody can use it. It's got the iron sights. However, you'll notice with iron sights you can't look down them with a mask on. Just something to be aware of so you're not surprised. Uh, gotta love the price, it's only 200 bucks. Um, what else? Magazines, I love how easy it is to eject them. They go in easily, they come out easily, they're easy to load. We'll go through that in a little bit. Four different rails, in fact we'll put something on one of the rails, probably on top, put uh, a red dot sight on it. Try that out, see how that works, see if, in fact, with a little bit of a riser, we'll probably be able to look right over the gun. So, let's shoot it a little more. I only put 19 in this time. Uh, you can fit 20 in a magazine, but you gotta push them a little bit. So, I put 19 in each this time. One thing to note, notice right away, the ball detent for the magazines is actually in here, okay? This piece comes off to put the hopper on, which means you have to use the little fake magazine when you put the hopper on, every time. So don't think that the fake magazine uh, for when you're playing hopper ball is just for show, it's not. It's a necessary part. Stock, it's got five positions. Uh, a couple things that people who are who are diehard mag-fed people might not lo love. One, the tank's obviously on the outside. It's not in the stock. It is what it is, it's a $200 marker. Also, it is not for first strikes. Again, $200 marker, maybe that'll change sometime. But for what you get, absolutely awesome. All right, it's really easy to put a hopper on it. So, but there is a correct order of operations. Eject the mag. The first step is you have to put the other mag in first. This is the one with the ball detent in it, remember? It'll fit in very securely. Then, take off the mag fed plate that has the other ball detent. All right, that comes out. Take your hopper attachment, screw it on. You have to put the mag in first, otherwise it won't latch correctly. Put the hopper on, I got my trusty Revy here, and you're ready to go. Takes seconds. With the hopper on, you'll notice something. The mag release no longer works. That's intentional. That means you can't accidentally eject your ball detent. So, got the larger Tipman tank on here now. Let's see how this does with CO2. Absolutely fine is the answer.
it's a Tippmann. It's based off of the 98 or Kronos platform internally. So it's gonna be rugged, it's gonna be durable, it's gonna work for you. It's fun to shoot mag fed, works perfect with a hopper. I think this is gonna do real well. One of the beauties of it being mag fed is you can obviously sight right over the top. If you put a riser, if you put some sort of sight on it, this is just an inexpensive, I think primary arms red dot sight, but with a riser, I can actually see the dot and that's a lot of fun. So something else that you can try with it, obviously it's not necessary, but this is the new Tipman TMC. It's actually available right now. Check them out. It's, I think this is going to be an excellent gun for people's first mag fed gun for guys like me that don't play mag fed very often or for guys that want to take people to the field. Take them to the field, loan them your, your primary gun so they don't feel like they're at a disadvantage. That way you can play mag fed and play right beside your friends. So I think it's awesome. I'm looking forward to playing with it a little more.